Hi, this is Buddy Halligan from the USC School of Cinematic Arts Sound Department. I'm here today to share with you some quick tips about Pro Tools, free apps for your smartphone or tablet, and audio post-production. Today's quick tip is part two of the Avid Control app. The Avid Control app is a really handy, useful application that works on Apple iPad, Android tablets like the Samsung, and even the Fire HD tablet. This application is free and can be downloaded from the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. You'll also want to create a free account at avid.com if you don't already have one. The other accompanying piece of software you'll need is uControl, also available for free at avid.com. This is part two of the video series for the Control app. If you haven't already set up your Control app on your tablet, and you control on your computer and network them together, then please refer to part one of this series. Now that everything's set up, let's take a look at the various pages or tabs in the control app. There's the mixer page, the tracks page for a handy overview of all of your tracks, the channel page where you can do a deep dive into each channel, the meters page for high resolution console style metering, the soft keys page for application customization and navigation, and the monitoring page for control room style monitoring and audio source switching. Let's take a look at each one of these tabs in detail. Go ahead and launch Avid Control from your tablet. I already have a Pro Tools session loaded up on my laptop. The mixer page acts kind of like a second monitor so you can always have your mix window open in Pro Tools. The great thing about this is that it's completely interactive and swipeable, plus you get your session universe slider at the top for faster and more complete navigation. At the bottom of this page there's the handy transport. Notice as I tap or focus each track name in the app, it focuses or attentions that track in Pro Tools. Above each channel in the mixer page, you also get a readout of your EQ curve, dynamics plot, or panning. You can also mute, solo, or change your automation mode for one or all tracks, all from the mixer page. The next tab we'll be looking at is the Tracks tab. On the Tracks tab, you can see all of your Pro Tools audio, auxiliary, MIDI, VCA, masters, and any other types of tracks you have in your Pro Tools session. If you've color-coded your tracks in Pro Tools, it'll give you breaks at each of these tracks as an option. I find this really handy for sessions with large track counts to keep things organized. You can touch the tracks to attention them in your Pro Tools session. Likewise, if you attention a track in Pro Tools, it will attention the track in the Control app, or on an attached Yukon control surface like the S1. Besides metering on all the tracks, you also get the ability to do things like soloing. You can solo one or a bunch of different tracks if you like. You can also do the same thing for muting, record enabling, or even input monitoring all of the tracks. Another cool thing you can do from this page is getting a mixer view of your attention track by tapping it on the lower left. You'll see the fader comes up and you can get things like mute, solo, volume, and EQ curve. Another cool thing on the bottom left of this page is a mini subset of the soft keys. Now we haven't talked about them yet, but these give us extra functionality and navigation in Pro Tools. Let's say I want to pop into automation. I get some write to commands, etc. Then I can always, of course, go back to my transport by tapping the lower left again. Our next tab in the Avid Control app is going to be the Channels tab. The Channels tab is where you can do a deep dive into each channel. On the top of the page, there's the universe scroller and channel by channel view. And let's say we want to go into dynamics you'll see all of the parameters like attack time, compression ratio, threshold, gain makeup, etc. for your plugin. You can see how the adjustments I made have affected the plugin. Okay, let's say you want to do some EQ. Tap the EQ, 
and you can adjust things like your frequency gain, frequency selection, etc. And you can see how it's affecting it in Pro Tools. Like many plugins, there are secondary pages of parameter adjustments. Go ahead and tap the box at the lower left and you'll see the pages come up. Just tap the page and that set will map to the knobs. If you happen to have a control surface, like here I have an Avid dock, you get a more natural mapping and feel to adjusting the plugins. You can see that the knobs match the ones on the screen. There's also a Sends tab, so if you tap that, you get a list of all of your sends and you can adjust the level of all those sends. You can also see how it reacts in Pro Tools and pops up the Sends window as well. One of my favorite controls under the Channels tab, and I find the most useful, is the Panning Control. This interactive touch page gives you all sorts of panning control. If you want even more granularity, tap the arrows at the lower right and you get a blow up of the panning window. This works, by the way, for all of the controls in the channel window like EQ and Dynamics as well. I find it way easier to use this type of panning in the app than trying to do it on the knobs on a controller or in the Pro Tools application alone. Even if you're mixing at home with only a stereo setup, this will allow you to create all of your surround bussing and panning and still monitor your mix in headphones or stereo speakers. It's a great tool. There is the group tab. You can see all of your groups. In this case, I've got a dialogue track uh, attention and you can see that it's in the dialogue group. I can pop it in or out of that group. And last but not least, we have the Mix tab where you can see your mix bus or buses and assign or unassign from those as well. Okay, our next page is the Meters tab. The Meters tab gives you high resolution console style metering with the universe scroller at the top. You can even see gain reduction in the meters if you have any applied in your session. Another cool feature is the function toggling at the bottom. You can see your gain reduction, panning position, and even EQ curves if you have any. And like most of the pages, the meter page is swipeable. The soft keys page opens up an even larger universe of possibilities and customization. Here on the home page, you'll see a lot of purple jump to pages noted by the purple boxes with the angled corner on the upper right hand side. I'm going to jump to my memory locations page. In this session, I've got a bunch of ADR lines set in my memory locations. So as I tap each one, it goes to that memory location in Pro Tools. The purple tabs on the bottom get you to the next set. Oops, naughty words, we're going to the next one. So I'll tap this one here, and as you can see, it jumps to that location in Pro Tools. So this is a pretty big session with lots of memory locations, and when you get done to this, the last tab there is 49 to 99, so you get your next 50 locations, and you can just tab over. Now we'll go back to the home page. Another favorite of mine, and useful, is the Advanced Automation page. So it just jumps to the automation page there and you get all your write to commands, join, punch, punch capture, preview, all that kind of good stuff. And if you want to navigate, you can also just tap the arrows and go page by page. Or of course you can swipe like in so many of the other menus to get to the other pages. And then uh, every page does have the home key to get you back to where you started. The Avid Control app also has a monitoring page. You can assign a master fader in Pro Tools and adjust it with the monitoring page. You can cut, adjust volume, etc. If you have a control surface like an Avid Dock, it also maps to the control room monitor knob. If you have any additional hardware set up like an Avid Matrix or Matrix Studio, this page can control all of your audio sources and do speaker muting, switching, and soloing. I really hope that this video was helpful and that you'll give it a try. Expand your possibilities and workflow solutions with the Avid Control app, free from the Apple Store or Google Play.